Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Lex Marie with another video. Today I'm just going to be talking about the wig that I have on my head. Um, I actually reviewed it a couple months ago, but I'm just going to show you um, kind of how the wig has lasted and whether or not you should buy it. And I'm also going to show you how I maintain my straight synthetic wig. So before I get into this video make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel um thank you so much to all my subscribers for supporting me commenting liking all that good stuff and if you're new to this channel make sure you check out my other videos so you can see whether or not you want to subscribe <laughs> but let's get into this video all right so i already um straightened half of my hair as you can see i I had to straighten it because this is how the other side looks. It's stiff, okay? The ends are stiff. It's hard to put your fingers through and it just looks like a mess in comparison. So I had to straighten this wig. However, this wig is um, one of the best straight wigs that I've ever had. Um, the parting is wonderful, it's very natural. I like the texture of the hair still. Um, after I straightened it, it went back to its original texture. And also, I just feel like this is a good unit just to have in your back pocket. It's a good pop out, you can dress it up or dress it down. So, obviously I love this unit, it's still one of my favorite units. It gives me very Naomi Campbell vibes, but you know, with straight units, this is how the ends look after a while. This is it straightened, this is it not straightened. So I'm just gonna show you guys how exactly I straightened my hair because it's really important on how you straighten synthetic wigs that are already straight. <laughs> so the first thing that I do is I set a flat iron to around like 320, 350. You don't wanna have it too hot. I just have a um, basic flat iron, it's actually my roommate, but you don't want it too hot where it burns the synthetic fibers you just want it at a good temperature so it does do what you want it to however it doesn't damage the hair because it is synthetic so that's the first thing you want to do the second thing um i personally like to use a paddle brush this paddle brush was three dollars from uh the beauty supply store i think it's annie or diane i forget the brand but it was only a couple bucks um i use this to brush all my wigs you see like that and those are the only things you're really gonna need i don't use clips or anything like that i just try to use the least amount of ooh, notification okay sorry. <laughs> i just try to use the least amount of items because i just want to make this as simple as possible like you only need two things the paddle brush and a straighter straight iron flat iron whatever straight flat blah. all right so the first thing i'm going to do is just brush my hair to get rid of any serious tangling from root to tip so i have this as you can see it looks very ooh, it, it just feels brittle and doesn't move as much so i brush through it and you can see on this side it's already straightened. <laughs> so you're just gonna brush through the hair just to make sure that all of the little kinks are out. And I'm gonna take one section, just a random section, brush that individually. So you're gonna brush this section individually. You can see. And the tip to this is not to straighten the entire unit. You don't need to straighten something that's already straight. So what I do, I feel for where I start to get more tension. So like right here, all this needs to be straightened. So what I'm going to do is, let me show you. I'm going to trace the flat iron behind the paddle brush and just go through the hair. 
and you only go one time just because you do not want to burn the hair so let me see so this section is already a lot straighter I'm just gonna do it one more time And you do it to the very end of the hair so now that you kind of have a sense sorry I don't want it to fall <laughs> but now that you kind of have a sense of what I do see now look that's the end it's nice and silky and it looks like a brand new unit so I'm just going to straighten the rest of my hair and just zoom through that and just show you the result after I'm done Okay, so I'm basically done. Um, again, you do not want to put the flat iron through your hair so much. Just because you want this unit to last you as long as it can. So I'm just going to do this one more time and I'll be done. Alright, so now I'm 100% done straightening my wig um i'm just gonna show you how the ends look now and you're about to go like oh did she just put on another wig no honey no baby like look at this look at that this hair is a lot silkier see this side it's a lot silkier in comparison to how it was looking before because it felt like you know it felt like dry feet it felt it, it was like it was dry like it just felt brittle it felt like you know hair that has doesn't have any oil on it or it just felt crusty and you know you don't want to have no crusty straight wig out here looking stiff but now it's like stiff wear like stiff wear stiff wear stiff wear again you're not going to have the same luster as if you just bought the wig however this is the closest you're gonna get to it do not straighten this wig every time the hair starts to get a little um fringy at the ends because you know you don't want to straighten your synthetic wig so so much so just kind of space it out when you're trying to straighten your wigs and you know, it'll last you a long time. I've had this since the summer, and it is almost December, girl. Honey, I'm trying to keep this into the next year. So let me know how you guys felt about this mini tutorial slash review. Um, if it was helpful or not. I still 100% recommend this wig. I was expecting more tangling, more shedding. But I actually got neither. I got a little bit of tangling, but, you know, not to the point where I can't even... Put my fingers through it but i love this unit it's a simple unit batty unit a naomi campbell unit but yes thank you so much for watching this video make sure that you subscribe now that you finished the video make sure you click that button with the little bell and yes i hope to see you guys soon bye guys